Joseph Saint, and today, today is an exciting topic. Like, actually, two exciting topics. Um, I love talking about iPads, and I also love talking about desk setups. Merge them two together, and so this is gonna be a fun one, folks. Seat belts, everyone. Beep beep. Now, now before we get started, complete disclaimer. This now before we get started, complete dis uh, discrepancy. What what am I trying to say here? Now before we get started, complete exposure. No, that's that is not the right word. Uh, transparency. This video is sponsored by Logitech. Now Logitech makes some amazing stuff, and I've been using their their keyboards and mice for like years. Uh, so when Logitech reached out to me and they wanted to sponsor this video. Heck yeah, I'm down. Oh, and another thing before we get started, just to note that everything that I'm gonna discuss in this video is gonna be linked in the description down below. So if you're interested in picking up anything, then make sure you guys go ahead and check those out. All right, let's just get started. Let's just jump right into it, Philly D style. Okay, so the first item we're gonna talk about is the iPad Pro. Now the iPad Pro, I've said it many times before, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. It is a device that I use pretty much 80% of the time. It's my second most used device after my phone. Um, it's simply because it's just it's so easy to use. I can just pick it up, take it anywhere. I absolutely love the Magic Keyboard with the trackpad support and everything. And of course, the full-fledged Safari browser. I think for me personally, that was the biggest game changer. As soon as I got full-fledged Safari, um, I was like, Man, I can, I can use this thing for everything. But sometimes when you're home and you're using the iPad Pro, you may want a slightly larger screen. That's where my monitor of choice comes into play. So this is the monitor I use with my laptop and everything basically. It's a monitor I've used for the past year and a half and for good reason. This is my favorite monitor. I've had several monitors in the past and this is the one that I decided to go with. This is the LG Ultra Wide 5K monitor. And the reason why I go with this, firstly, it's ultra wide. You can't go, you can't go back to regular, trust me. Like once you're like that horizontal real estate, oof. Uh, number two, 5K. 5K monitor, it's super, like it's like crystal clear. Like I could see, like graphics on it are better than the graphics in life. But the biggest reason for me is the IO. With this one, I got HDMI, I got DisplayPort, I got USB-A ports, so I can plug in like gaming consoles if I wanted to, or even like uh, other peripherals, which which we're gonna talk about later in this video. Now, keep in mind when you're using external monitors with the iPad Pro, the iPad Pro only supports USB-C; it doesn't have a Thunderbolt port. The only issue that I really hope Apple fixes is support for like a wider screen or a larger screen. When you plug in the iPad to any monitor, you're always gonna get like these like side bars on the side just because of the aspect ratio. So if Apple can somehow fix that in a future update where if you plug into an external monitor, it gives you full width of the screen, that would be pretty awesome. The next item we're gonna talk about is the stand that's holding the iPad up. And this, I've mentioned this before in one of my previous videos as well, and this is called Draft Table by Elevation Labs. Uh, this is my stand of choice, hands down, because it just works so well in any position that you wanna have it in. It has several different options for you to position this out, and it is the sturdiest stand that I've used. Uh, because the iPad is something that takes touch input, and there's a lot of times I'm gonna be drawing on it or trying to work on it, I didn't want to stand that was flimsy. So having the ability to have something that's sturdy enough where I can literally rest my entire arm on uh, and, and draw or write something or edit something, super helpful. And it's made with high quality material so you can't, you can't go wrong with it. Now, in order to control the iPad, the mouse that I'm using is the Logitech MX Master 3. Now, this mouse has shown up in pretty much all my setup videos in the past. However, this one is slightly different in the sense that it is specialized for Mac. It has a Mac speed scroll wheel, which is, and I've mentioned this before as well, I absolutely love the scroll wheel on this thing. It just feels high quality. Like also like the entire like design, the aesthetics, the way the whole mouse looks and feels is sublime. Um, it's got a bunch of customizable buttons. And another cool thing you can do is based on whatever app you're using, you can use the software to customize this mouse for that particular apps. But I gotta say, hands down, the best feature for me personally is that I can pair it up to three different devices. So there's like a quick switch button on the bottom where I can cycle between three different devices. And the cherry on top is now it's got space gray accent. So it'll match all your other space gray Apple products um, if that's what you're looking to do. However, if you're using this mouse for gaming, Probably don't recommend it. Logitech makes some other really great mice and I would probably consider those, but this thing is pretty heavy. Like I've tried using this for gaming and it's not the best experience. So don't, yeah, if you're gaming, 
just don't. This is a productivity beast of a mouse and it's meant for that productivity. So in this particular setup, the keyboard that I'm using is the Logitech MX keys. Now, the number one reason I'm using this particular keyboard in this setup is because of just like the MX Master 3 mouse, uh, the device switcher, right? You have up to three different devices I can switch and I can sync between. It makes life a lot easier. I don't have to like switch out keyboards and stuff like that and just keep everything docked on the side. Another cool feature I liked about this keyboard is it has backlit keys. And it just doesn't just have backlit keys, it does it in a smart way. So it actually has sensors in it that can detect when your hands are coming nearby. And the moment that you bring your hands close to it, then the keys start lighting up. So this will help with battery. If you turn off the backlight, then you can actually get up to five months of battery life, which is which is really good. Uh, but if you have the backlight on, then it gives you up to 10, 10 days, I believe. Another cool thing is that it charges with USB-C, so you can have a full one cable solution for all your peripherals and just charge them with USB-C, which is pretty cool. And the last thing, which is the cherry on top, besides the fact that it has keys that are meant for the Mac ecosystem, um, is the fact that it comes in space gray. So again, it kind of matches your accessories. One thing I was hoping for is it would have been a slightly darker space gray because this seems like a slightly lighter space gray. So it looks a little more silvery to my eye. But yeah, overall, uh, the, the switcher between devices is like a key feature on both the mouse and the keyboard. Absolutely need that just because of the amount of different devices that we're using these days. Pretty cool. The other thing that I got, which was actually surprisingly has been working really well. Now, now, when I first got this thing, I was actually a little bit confused on how it would work and if it would make any sense, because it's just something so different that I haven't seen before. It's called uh, Carpio by Delta Hubs. This thing is really good. Like it rests your palm just perfectly on it. So for those long editing sessions or when you're sitting on your computer for a long time, then having your wrist like a little bit elevated, like it's just support for like the back of your wrist. And it feels really good. Of course, you're not gonna use this for something like gaming or anything like that, where you need to have like quick movements, but for something like this to pair with the MX Master is just perfect. And it comes in a space gray colorway as well, so it matches everything else on your desk, including your mouse. On my desk, I also keep a HomePod. Yeah, these, thing, these things still exist. Now the HomePods are actually some of the best sounding uh, home smart speakers that I've used before. The only problem is the limitation of like uh, being able to play something from Spotify or YouTube music or anything like that. However, I've been hearing that in the new update that's coming to the HomePod, this is gonna be solved and you're gonna be able to stream music from uh, Spotify and YouTube music and any other third party application as long as they open up to the HomePod. So that's one of the reasons I have it on there and also it just it looks nice. It's one of the most beautiful looking smart speakers, I must say. Now, also on my desk is the Apple Pencil, and that's because I sometimes use the iPad in order to draw or write down quick notes, or sometimes when I am editing photos, then I like using this pencil to do like some detailed work. Um, so that comes in pretty handy. So I use the Apple Pencil, and I also have the paper-like uh, screen protector on top, which makes your like display kind of feel like paper. Uh, it's actually kind of cool, and I was very, very curious how that would work, so I ended up trying to get one and once I put it on, it, it actually does feel like paper. It's true. Now, also sitting all the way back at the end of my table is a USB-C hub from 12 South called the Stego. It's a weird name, I know, but, but it makes complete sense. It's basically a USB-C hub that can be used when you're staying at your desk and then you can just unplug it and it has like a built-in cable inside when you wanna take it on the go. So it works really well. So in this particular setup, what I've done is I've plugged that USB-C hub right into the monitor. So whatever I plug into the monitor, whether it's my laptop or anything else, then it will activate that USB-C hub and, and I'll be able to plug in any other peripherals to it. Now, all of this sits on a desk mat that I got from Grove Made. It's the wool desk mat and it's called the wool desk mat. Uh, <laughs> Also, I have the mouse and the Carpio on also a Grove made product. And basically it's a leather and wood mouse pad. And I absolutely love this thing because it looks so good. And it also has like this like wood encasing where I can put like a pen and, and I have my favorite pen, which I will talk about another day because it costs a lot. And I'm not ready to tell you guys how much just yet, but I, I put that pen inside there and it also looks nice and it feels good to like touch leather while you're moving your mouse around. Creepy, maybe slightly, but try it out. You never know, you might like it as well. Now over to my left side, I completely forgot to mention this. I also have the Apple Magic trackpad. The reason I have this is because I'm so used to doing like like touch gestures on uh, the iPad and also on the Mac. It's just 
a handy feature and I've kind of trained my body to be able to use the two mice in conjunction with a keyboard and everything. So it just works for me. Okay, and other than that, the last couple items is the lamp that you see at the back there. That one is from Ikea. I forgot what it's called, but I'll try to link it in the description down below. Uh, so that lamp, I love how it looks aesthetically, and I have a Philips Hue bulb screwed into there so that I can adjust whatever color I kind of want to display on the wall. So in this particular case, I have like a slight orange on there. And the other lights that you see on the table, they're just like aperture lights that I'm using for the video in order to help enhance the look. Oh, and last but not least, the picture at the back, that is from a company called Pictura and I'll also link it in the description down below. It comes painted onto that canvas and then it has like this like floating frame around it. It just looks really nice, especially against that black wall. Oh, and the last thing I completely forgot to mention is this guy here, which is the Dwight Schrute Funko Pop. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this video entertaining and beneficial and you liked what you saw. Uh, again, it's a little bit of a bittersweet feeling for me uh, because like this whole stuff, all of this is probably, this is probably one of the last videos you're gonna see in this space. If you guys are watching, I really do appreciate all of you guys watching me and supporting me and sharing my content and liking and subscribing and, and making sure that you are tuned in every time I drop a video. That really means a lot to me. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you like this video, then make sure you guys go ahead and crush that like button. If you like content around tech, gadgets, filmmaking, and lifestyle, then make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button and as usual i will see you guys in the next one peace